Do you want to upgrade your WordPress install from 2.7 something to 2.8? Well, my name is Adrian Richards and I'm going to take you through that. So here we are at ButYou'reAGirl.com and I'm running version 2.7.1. How do I know? Because it says right here. Also, in the lower right hand corner, if you scroll away to the bottom of your WordPress dashboard, it, it'll probably say get version 2.8. All right, well, what do you do? How do we do that? Ooh, please update now. Well, it's almost this simple, but WordPress is going to remind you that you need to go ahead and back up your database and your files. It's really important that you do this. And we will be doing an in-place upgrade where we actually ask WordPress to do the update for us rather than the old way where you copy files, you download them, you copy them up through FTP. So let's click back up your database and files. This takes you to WordPress's website which is very good. WordPress has great documentation because it's like a wiki, so everyone contributes to it. I hope you will as well. Uh, basically, it, it goes answers some really common questions about upgrading, and then it talks about how you have to back up your database and what your database contains, which is basically, like if we scroll up to the top, your WordPress database contains every post, every comment, and every link you have on your blog. If your database gets erased or corrupted, you stand to lose everything you've written. So this is really important you do this, folks. Don't leave it to chance. Um, if you lose power while you're doing the upgrade, if, uh, there's just so many things that could happen. Don't do it. Right? Your server could go down. You could have a hiccup in the internet connection. Who knows? Back it up. So I'm going to go ahead and show you using cPanel. Uh, cPanel is used by many, many hosting companies. Um, and we'll switch over there. This is cPanel. We're going to go in here and back up the files in the database under backups and we're going to start with generating a full backup. Alright, and now it says in progress. And let's refresh it and it should say that it's done. It is. So now what we'll do is we'll click here and we'll download this physically to our system. The nice thing about cPanel is it timestamps the backup for you. So you have, you know, the date and the time right in there. So we'll hit save. And I have a fairly fast connection from Comcast that's 28 down and 9 megabytes up. So your download speeds will vary. Now we're going to hit go back. So we can go back to the primary backup uh, area. And here we have databases. Now um, it's a good idea to document the name of your database, especially if you have a form installed and maybe you're testing out Joomla and maybe you have some a shopping cart installed so that when you get to the database area, you know which one is for WordPress. Um, I know this is my WordPress one, so I'm going to click it and I'm going to choose save. Um, a note here with the databases, you want to back up your databases on a regular basis. What do I mean by regular? I mean as painful as it would be if you lost everything and if your host shut down. So for some folks that may be once a month, others it may be once a week. And I would suggest you keep at least two or three copies. This is just Adria the Geek. <laughs> I Redundancy. Um, the thing to do is to timestamp them yourself. So what I do is I do 2009, 06 for the month and then uh, 23 for the day. And then you may even want to put in a hyphen and say WordPress. Now when you get ready to restore this, if you need to in the future, you'll need to remove the timestamp and stuff. Otherwise, uh, the cPanel will think that this is a different database. More on that later. All right, so now we hit close. We are now ready to do the upgrade. We have now backed up our files and we have backed up our database, which is way more important. And this is just precautionary because if something were to happen, not good for you. Your website would be down, your blog would be down. So now we're going to click upgrade automatically. And WordPress upgrade successful. And uh, But Your Girl has been running for a year. Um, we'll look and see how many posts I have. Now I have to go ahead and log in again. Um, but, you know, I think on average it's a good representation. Yeah, you know, so give me one sec. I'm going to log in. And how will you know that you're on 2.8? Well, here you're using WordPress 2.8. And now when we scroll down, it's also going to show. Uh, version 2.8 instead of get 2.8. So I have 149 posts, you know, so very interesting, I think. So with that, that's all you need to do. Good luck and enjoy your upgrades.